teenage drivers are the worst ones on the road. Compared to that worst group of drivers, the teen drivers with ADHD were significantly more at risk for everything. There aren't many resources for parents who would like to support their teen as they become independent drivers. And especially if you have a child with ADHD where you know that they're already bringing to the table some limitations in their ability to pay attention and focus and follow rules. Okay, Cindy, in just a moment here, we're gonna ask you to take a cruise down the road here. We can sit and talk to a teen or talk to a family about the right things to do in a car, but that only takes you so far. Once you have knowledge, the next step is to perform. And so by putting the individual in a driving simulator, we can have the teen actually practice driving skills in a lifelike environment and something we like as psychologists is that we also can ask the parents to practice parenting skills in a lifelike environment. The success stories are really gratifying. Parents in fact have called up in tears uh, saying they've been searching and searching for something to help their teenage driver. The research we're doing in the Department of Counseling School and Educational Psychology will make the road safer for everyone.